we're getting ready for your gravimetric analysis lab. We're going to be doing a new technique uh, where we're going to have to filter something. So I wanted to show you guys how to set up your filtration. We're going to be using a circular piece of filter paper. What we're going to do is we're going to make a cone out of this. So uh, we're going to take one hand like this and one hand like this and you're going to twist from the center until you make a cone. Now your lab manual tells you to cut a little piece off. That's not super necessary, but we can try it anyway. And then what you do is you're going to put that cone inside of your filter, right about there. Kind of push it down. You may need to make your cone a little tighter when you realize how small your cone is. That's about perfect. Now to get it to stick right in there, we actually have to get it wet, otherwise it's gonna pop out like this. So, we're gonna take your wash bottle that has DI water in it and squirt a little bit all over the filter paper, just like that. Now some of it's gonna to start to drip down through the funnel, that's perfectly good. Then you're gonna take one finger, hopefully a gloved finger, and press the filter paper onto the edges of the funnel. The point in doing this is so the paper is touching all the edges of the glass so, so that when we try to filter your precipitate, it doesn't slip through the paper. We wanna catch everything on this masked filter paper. So now what we're gonna do is something called decanting and I'm going to hold a glass stirring rod on top of my beaker. This is going to help my liquid not splash. And we're going to pour the mixture with your precipitate through the filter. Now this will take several minutes. Uh, once we get towards the end, we're going to have to use the wash bottle to make sure that we don't miss any of our precipitate. So we're going to use the wash bottle like this to make sure that it all comes off of the stirring rod. We don't want to miss any of your sample. Okay. So I've filtered almost all of the liquid out of my container, and now I'm just down to the last bit with the majority of the solid. So as I'm filtering what's in here, I see that a lot of my solid is getting stuck in the back of the beaker. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a wash bottle to get it off of the side of the beaker and into the filter paper. This method is called decanting and it's very important for you to do this very carefully. Otherwise, it's gonna mess up all of your lab results. So again, try to get all of the solid from the beaker into the filter paper. That looks fine. Now it'll take another, I'd say three to four minutes for this to filter. And as soon as all of the liquid has dropped down to the beaker below, you can remove your filter paper and go and put it in the oven. We'll probably be out of time at this part of class so we're going to leave the filter papers in there overnight. Make sure that you have your name on the filter papers or that your name is on a piece of tape close to where your filter paper is. Otherwise, all of your lab results will be weird. And that's it. That's all you have to know.